Stefan, we're looking at the Alpha C600 IC. Here at Emo, please can you tell me about this wonderful line of machines? Yeah, well, thank you for being here, first of all. Um, with the Alpha C600 IC, we show here the middle size model of our Robocut machines. We have 400, 600, and 800 in stroke. And 600 is the most common model for us because we can cover mold industry, chop shop, tool makers. Every customer would be satisfied with that size. Mm -hmm. Um, we're looking at an aerospace component yep. as part of a machining cell on this occasion. What, why is this machine so good? What features uh, uh, apply themselves to an aerospace component? Well, our standard features like reliability, sustainability, uh, cost efficiency, of course, are some of the main drivers. In addition, uh, we can say that FANEC uh, YADM technology um, has a very big advantage in the so-called white layer problem which is very uh, interesting for the aerospace industry. We have a very low layer, small layer there, which fits the requirements from that industry perfectly. Okay, and this model has got a rotary table. How does that help? Well, the rotary table just help us to reach other angles, other corners, yeah? We don't have to unclamp the workpiece and clamp it in a different way again. Uh, mm. The final control is able to control on this machine seven axes, so we have no mm. limit there. And on YREDM process, you know, energy consumption is very important, isn't yeah. it? How does LinkEye help this? Well, LinkEye shows us where we, where the energy consumption really comes from. Yeah, my, most people think it's just from the erosion process at all and forgot the motors, the coolers, the accessory, mm -hmm. the transformers and whatever. Robocut LinkEye help us to exactly analyze where we consume the most energy and reduce it on that place where it's created. And this model's got a CRX next to it. Not yeah. necessarily something you would see with an EDM machine. Yeah. yeah. In the past, you always said if the cycle time is longer than a minute, you shouldn't automize it. But that's, that's old fashioned. Meanwhile, we have, all of us have the problem with the skilled workers. So we need the unmanned, uh, unmanned production. Mm -hmm. The CRX just place it next to the machine. The camera will film a QR code. The robot knows where it is and load and unload like a human do it. So perfect assistant for your workers. Mm -hmm. And there's a, an increased stroke on this machine. How, how's that going to help FANUC and, and the industry as a whole? Well, the increased stroke of the machine would be our, our latest model, which really have the world premiere here on the show, the C800IC. With this model, we closed the IC family. We were waiting for that machine. Really tough. We have it now with X-axis 800, Z-axis incredible 500s. So for our understanding, no limit from the size anymore and the machine will be ready to supply to Europe beginning of next year. Mm -hmm. And we show that the interest here is quite high for that machine. And again, a very complex aerospace component. Yeah, we show here a turbine blade, which is quite tricky to, to produce because we have a very large distance from the gap, uh, from the nozzle to the workpiece. Um, but by our very intelligent, easy adjustment function, we can do that. Every, even without a big knowledge, big skills, you can adjust it to the best result.